Welcome back to the Pokemon Isle of Armor Countdown. So today on the Countdown, I don't really want to talk about anything specific. I just want to talk about my excitement for this DLC as it's coming out tomorrow. And I'm very, very excited for it. Um, now I want to just say that there's just so much that I'm expecting from it. And I don't want to be let down. So I'm going to try to lower my hopes a little bit when I talk about the games, um, considering that I, I would love to see new Pokemon, like brand new Pokemon, or new more new Galarian forms. I'm going to try to lower my hopes down to that, down to like where it may just only be Slowbro, uh, which is fine, because Slowbro is pretty darn awesome. And of course we have Cubfu and Urshifu, which are both pretty cool Pokemon in general. But if I'm going to talk about hopes that I would like to see, well, still keeping it at a lower point, then I would love to see some new Pokemon, some more new Galarian forms that we haven't seen before. I know there's been some rumors going around, some leaks, quote-unquote leaks, going around that have talked about there being new Galarian forms in it as well. Um, and I'm not saying there won't be, but I'm hoping there will be. Um, but I'm going to try to keep my hopes down. So, if that made any sense. <laughs> I'm trying to keep myself excited, but... To, excited to a point where it's reasonable, where I'm not going to get let down because of this. Now, I guess it's not too much to be let down by, but I'm really excited for that. Um, another thing I'm really just excited about is just exploring. There's just a lot to explore in this island. I did my uh, map analysis video a while back, and that was really, really fun. And now that we know that it's going to be pretty much just a whole wild area, we can just explore to our heart's content. There's going to be caves, there's going to be like all sorts of things. We saw that in the trailer, and, like big massive open caves that are just awesome looking. So I'm very, very excited for that personally, for just the, the value of exploration and the value of maybe new Pokemon possibly. The, the Another thing I'm very excited for is the story. Uh, there's a lot of cool story beats that are going to happen that I'm excited to see what happens with Avery slash Kira. Um, I have Avery personally because I'm playing on Shield, but um, it's going to be really excited to see what happens with that um, and what happens to see with Cub Fu and all that kind of stuff. If there's going to be anything that we don't expect or what we don't know, um, but yeah. So I'm really excited for Isle of Armor. I hope that everybody is excited as well. Try to keep your hopes down a little bit just in case that it is a very small uh, number of new Pokemon. Don't expect everything to be added into the game. Um, especially when it comes to the list of old Pokemon that are being added. I know a lot of people are frustrated about that right now. And so we just need to keep our hopes down as far as that goes for that. So people don't like... If, you're old, if your favorite Pokemon doesn't get added now, don't freak out. It could be added in Crown Tundra or maybe even possibly future DLCs. So for now, just stay happy and uh, stay excited for this game.